Okay, here we have it. This is, uh, of course, the first of the big point sixties. Uh, this is a uh, Hangar 9 uh, P51 model. Very good example. i just showing you a close-up here of some of the intended artwork just to make things look a little snazzier. We've got uh, a number of interesting things we're going on here. What we'll do, of course, is besides just getting some of the pilot, we want to note these winglets, these uh, discuits we have on the wing. Now here's a great example of what we're trying to do with the discuits. The discuits, of course, have been proving to be very successful at eliminating stall. And uh, once you start eliminating you, your stall, you start eliminating, of course, uh, your snap spins. P51 with the uh, symmetrical wing has some nice characteristics and some bad characteristics. First of all, the symmetrical wing is nowhere as like the, uh, the Clark uh, wing, which is a flat bottom and contoured on the top to give you what you need. Now, of course, we've done a little working here. You may notice a little different approach we're using to get this one in the air. This is a retractable. And as you notice here, the engines, of course, is uh, OS, always OS if you're going to do any real flying there, research. And uh, we've got the yellow tail on this one here again is a good example of the no bias. Now, let's get back here a little so we can take a, a good little view of it. It's a uh, spectacular airplane, smooth, in flight, and speed range. We've chosen the, uh, basically the P-51 here in a Hangar 9 model. I, uh, I may wrap Hangar 9 a lot, but Hangar 9 has some good, uh, good building philosophies, good product philosophy. Their airframes are always excellent, no doubt about it. <clears throat> when uh, matched with, uh, like the P-51 originally, <laughs> when matched uh, not with that Packard built engine, had a lot of problems, but when matched with uh, here, uh, the original P-50 uh, ones were matched with, of course, the Merlin, in which made them a spectacular performing airplane. Uh, they were an inline airplane, as we can see, so it made, made them very sleek, like the P P-38, very sleek airplane, so not a lot of drag. The engine with the Merlin, though, was a, a high... Uh, high horsepower with of course a, a wonderful supercharger on it so they could really get to altitude now this one's the same way once this hangar 9 product this p51 is matched with the uh, os and this is a 0.60 which is the probably besides the uh, 0.9 is probably the sweetest little running engines they have uh, of course all all os products are beyond uh, excellent when you have them set anywhere it's close uh, to their uh, rich, uh, to their fast idle, uh, you're going to get a high performing airplane. Now, again, the uh, demonstration here we're going to be doing oops, demonstration of this particular model is for the addition of the laminar flow Hamilton no bias discuits, which here we have a good example. Now, we haven't talked a lot about the actual discuit. We're, we've mostly talked and shown the placement of these discuits. And for those folks who have been trying uh, to work with this, I'm not going to give you all my secrets on it, but, you know, hasten to fight what you're doing, you're designing what's going to be designed here, and it can be designed in a number of different ways, is that we have an oval discuit, which I prefer over the circular discuit, which one could use too, but I believe the oval does a better job. And I, I like them towards the wingtip. Now any discuit, and these discuits can have an overriding edge, as we see right here, the overriding edge, uh, and they need to be three-dimensional. They can't be like a Frisbee. A Frisbee is good, but it, it gives us some turbulation when, uh, when it meets the air at a greater than nine degrees. And uh, so what we want to do is when we do design our discuits, and I'll give you, let me show you a discuit here. Well, let's get this disket. We'll, we'll get a little disket here. We'll show a top and bottom on the disket. Now, as you know, it's a three-dimensional structure. It has an overhanging uh, edge, and it, it has a substance to the midsection, but the midsection is continuous cord from the no, uh, nose to the tail. And when I call nose to tail, I mean the length of the oval. The cord is the same. 
and we designed it in an oval format. So what we're going to do, and this is a good example, we're going to place those discuits, and right now they're pretty simplistically made. I mean, we're trying to uh, see what, we're not too worried about uh, uh, building structure, we're worried more about performance and less about, you know, presentation. So we're doing these discuits and we're placing them. As you can see here, you can place any number of discuits along the wing. And that's what we're, we're going for, any number of discuits. So our next stop is the flight field and we'll take it from there.